Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Huseman and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So earlier this year I made a video on how to sell your things on Poshmark and it was actually one of my favorite videos I've ever filmed. I'll go ahead and link it down below but I thought this would be a really fun follow-up is to actually like buy things on Poshmark because while I've sold a lot of things on Poshmark and really whittled down my closet that way, I've actually never bought from Poshmark. So I'm really excited. I bought a couple different fun things, some on the lower end side, some on the higher end side, and I'm really excited to unbox them and try them out with y'all today and let you know what I think. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first shop that I shopped at was at Stylish Princess, and I think this is more of a boutique shop than someone selling their clothes secondhand. But I ended up getting three items and kind of bundling them together. So I created a bundle for these three items, which were between $39 and $50. And so it should have been like $130-ish, but there was a 10% discount when you buy two or more items. Then I did pay $7.45 for shipping, but I did message the seller and offered her $110 for all the items and she accepted it. So if you're gonna buy multiple things from a store, definitely make a bundle. So the first item I got was this Zara cropped sweater and I think it's adorable. I love the color. It literally is new with tags and the tag is $50. So I guess I paid about what you would pay in the store for it, but I haven't seen this on the Zara website. I'm not sure how this business model works, but I really like it. I think it's cute. I am a little worried about how cropped it's gonna be, but we'll go ahead and check that in the tryout clip. And I got this for $50 before shipping and the discount. The next thing I got is something very similar. In case it's not obvious, I love a certain color scheme and beige and tan and cream all fit into that. And it is this really cute cropped cardigan. I'm not sure how long the sleeves are gonna be, but it has these buttons. It is also from Zara with the tags still attached. And I couldn't find this on the Zara website when I checked, so I'm guessing it's a few seasons old, but I, I believe I got this one for, I got for $40 before the discount. Lastly, I got another sweater, which doesn't make sense since it's August here in California, and I don't think it ever really gets that cold, but I am a sucker for cream sweaters. This one is from Unique. I think I thought it was from Zara when I got it, and it came in a cellophane bag. I am 99% sure this is from Amazon. I paid $39.99 before shipping and before the discount, so I do think I overpaid for this piece. I wish I could return it, and I think with Poshmark, I did check this. You can't return things unless there's something wrong with them, so what you buy is what you get. It has these um, like stitching on the side, but there's nothing under it. So I'm a little, I don't really know how I'm gonna wear a bra with it, but it does tie it on here. I think it's cute, but I wanna try it on. I wouldn't have purchased this if I had seen it in person or if I paid closer attention to the brand, but it's by Unique. So if anyone has heard of the brand before, I need to like look online and see if this is an Amazon and like how much I overpaid for it. Because like I said, I paid $40 for this before shipping and the discount. So this is the first crop sweater from Zara on Poshmark. <laughs> I've just gone ahead and paired it with this linen reformation skirt because I think it's a really cool like fall vibe to wear something a little bit more summery on the bottom and then like a nice chunky knit on top. So this is how I would wear it. I like it, but I don't love the sleeves. Like I, it really is cropped and I don't know if I'd want to show this much on my midriff. I definitely will be keeping it because I think it also would be perfect with like a pair of high-waisted leggings. It's really comfy and I think it's that cute like almost like academia style. I think I think it's really cute. Ugh, how many times did I say cute in this video? I don't know. I like the buttons. It's not scratchy. I just don't love how low the sleeves go. So when you raise your arms, it's like definitely comes up. But this is what this looks like. And yeah, I think for, let's see, this was originally 50, I would have gotten 10% off and then maybe another like couple dollars. So for around $40, I think I would just buy this off of Zara to begin with, but that was me. <laughs> I chose to pay this price for this. So I would definitely shop on this Poshmark store again. I think the stuff came really quickly and there was a really sweet note. All right, next Zara sweater. Okay, so this is the other crop sweater. Definitely wouldn't have bought this if I had seen it in person for a couple reasons. The sleeves 
are like a quarter length, mid length that I'm not a huge fan of. I don't like how buttery yellow it is. I thought it was gonna be more than a cream. And then lastly, if I have a button up cardigan, I like to wear it as a shirt and I think it's just a little bit too low cut. I think this actually might be cute as a traditional cardigan. I do love the buttons, but for $40, so maybe like 30 something dollars, I don't think it's worth it. I feel bad because the tags are on and like there's nothing wrong with the garments. I just should have been more careful about what I purchased. And I'm gonna try and resell anything I don't wear on my Poshmark just because that's what I normally do with clothes I don't wear or I will try and donate them. So if you wanna check me out, I'll leave my Poshmark link down below. I just, I think someone else will get more use out of this cropped sweater. So yeah, not disappointed again because like I completely chose this item. I just wish I could have tried it on. If this was a traditional retail store, I would be sending this back to return it. Okay, so ignore for a second that I would absolutely would not style it like this. I actually don't hate it as much as I thought I would. It is really soft. Um, these like bows, I don't think it's doable. You'd have to wear a tank top on underneath. You can clearly see my bra. And I hate wearing tank tops under my sweaters. It's just gonna be a no-go for me. Uh, again, this is one of those like, I messed up. <laughs> I picked this item, I completely chose it, but it's something that I don't know that I would have caught online just to know that this is kind of see-through. I think that's something I would be more likely to catch in stores. This next top I got from a shop called JS Charrington, and I think this is someone cleaning out their closet and not a resale, but I got this adorable Reformation top. I've really been obsessed with the brand Reformation recently. I like their business model. I really like their commitment to sustainability, and I think their pieces are really quality while being in that floral, but still casual and not too grandma-y style. Really, they encompass a lot of what I think my personal style is. And this top is, oh, it is even more stunning in person than it was on the website. My only issue is that the way the tag is sewn on, I question whether or not this is an official Reformation piece, but I still think it's cute whether or not it is. It does seem like a quality made garment, and I just need to do a little bit more research online to see if this was something they actually sold. <gasps> is this not so adorable? I am obsessed with this top. Yes, the sleeves kind of come down, so I might need to get it tailored, but for a top that was originally like, I think like 170 something to get it for 70, I'm so happy. I think with an item like this, especially Reformation, where I know the quality is good, I know that I already like the style, and you're getting it at such a steep discount, I think this is the perfect thing to buy on Poshmark. But probably get this tailored is gonna be like maybe 10, $15. So that brings a total price under $100 for a Reformation top, which I think is very good. And ah, I'm just so excited about this. This is definitely going to be one of those pieces I keep in my closet for a very long time and I especially treasure. And I'm so excited I can not only buy it secondhand, get a huge discount and just rehome an item that otherwise might have gone into a landfill. This last item is probably the piece I am most excited about and also probably the least exciting piece. Okay, so this dress I got from the store Lilka by Lily H and it was $70. There's like kind of a backstory to this. So my very best friend Riley is getting married in October and for bridesmaid dresses, she said to pick whatever black dress, floor length black dress we felt most comfortable in. And I love this dress by Show Me Your Moo Moo, but it was like $180. And it didn't make sense to me to pay that much because it felt a little overpriced. I know my bridesmaids had worn a gown very similar to this, and I think it was like 120 when they bought it. So I actually was kind of looking on Poshmark and I found the exact dress, unworn, unaltered, in my size for like $80 compared to 180 and I think it was originally like 85 and I asked if I could go down to like 75 and she met me halfway at 80. So I ended up getting this gorgeous floor length dress from Show Me Your Moo Moo and it has this adorable crisscross. It's not gonna come up on camera, but it does have this adorable crisscross design in the back and I am so excited to try this on because y'all, I feel like such a savvy shopper because this dress I had budgeted like $200, $300 for to find the perfect black bridesmaid's dress because I just want to feel good and I want Riley's day to be perfect. So 
I budgeted like two to three hundred dollars for it and I only had to pay eighty dollars plus seven ninety nine shipping I okay let me caveat this with I know this is not this day is not about me it's about Riley and Tobias but I still feel like a princess oh my gosh I was really nervous about finding a black dress that fits me correctly and makes me feel just good about myself and confident in my body and I really think this dress is it oh the back I could not be bothered to put the straps on correctly because it's it might be a two-person job to get this dress on but it does fit it might need to be taken to a tailor for length but I knew that about the gown going in because I just read a lot of reviews saying they come long so you can hem it. So again, this is something I will get altered, but I would have had to get it altered off the website. So again, like, let me just break this down. It was 180, got it for 80 plus shipping. So like 87, I'm gonna pay maybe like $20 to get it hemmed. So $107 for this gorgeous wedding look? Like, are you kidding me? I'm so happy. I will say one thing I've noticed with trying these clothes on is that when I went looking just for something, I got, I got something. I got those crop sweaters and they were cute, but I was more just browsing and trying to find things that I thought looked cool. Whereas with the Reformation top, I was more specifically searching for Reformation pieces. And I think I had a huge success with that. And then with this one, I was looking for this dress, specifically the black Show Me Your Moo Moo Goddess dress. And I think this one is probably my favorite piece I've gotten on Poshmark just because I got exactly what I wanted for a fraction of the price. So I guess another tip for y'all for buying on Poshmark would be going kind of knowing what you want, especially searching for brands you know you like and that you know fit you because you can't easily return. So I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. I'm so excited to wear this and I, I just feel, I'm gonna do a spin. <laughs> If you made it this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, I mean, come on, we just hung out for the last like 20 minutes. What are you waiting for? I upload videos every Thursday about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and all things pink and girly. So I hope to see you around. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out as a small content creator. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. I hope you have a wonderful day.